regurgitates the same video that I've heard a million times, repeats the same stuff we've seen online a million times. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to share a couple of reasons why I'm not as invested into FragCom as I was before. Um, a little disclaimer, I absolutely love fragrances. I'm probably gonna to continue to buy fragrances. I'm going to wear fragrances every day. And anybody who's ever written me like a DM or a comment about a fragrance, I enjoy talking to you. I always want you to keep messaging me. It has nothing to do with that. I actually love the community of people I talk to and I love wearing fragrances, but there's just a couple aspects to the whole fragrance situation on YouTube that it just kind of has me unsure about exactly how I feel about it or where I want to go next. I love talking about fragrances. I'm probably going to keep reviewing fragrances. I'm going to keep buying them and I keep, you know, all this stuff. But these are just a few of the things that kind of hold me back from being more invested into FragCom. Number one is the overall lack of interest in fragrance. Now, fragrance has a decent amount, it's this steady amount of viewers who like fragrance, and it's a small amount, but it's not really something you would use to grow. Now, if you look at the people who like blow up, like Curly Fragrance or like Jeremy Fragrance, a lot of the stuff that they do has nothing to do with fragrance. They're really in shape. They get a lot of girls to review their stuff. They use a lot of things to make their videos entertaining. And although they are centered around fragrance, what brings people in isn't really as much about the fragrance. So it's like the actual idea of fragrance isn't really mass appealing. So if you want to blow up on YouTube, you know, picking something with just a low level of interest or a sustained level of interest, it's like you kind of want something that can boom, in my opinion. Number two is the price barrier. It just seems like $30, $40 for like an average cologne especially with how often they aren't the best or how often you know you just don't really want to keep it or recommend it it's just an okay fragrance to spend 30 or 40 dollars it's just quite a bit to make a video on something that's really average the fragrances that are worth going after are usually niche fragrances but then it's like then the the price barrier separated even more you know so you got people who only buy niche you got people who only buy cheapies and so like you know people are just gonna buy a bunch of cheapies and they'll never try any of the good stuff so you have this good fragrance to recommend but nobody's gonna try it and then you you know buy the the newest cheap thing and it smells similar to this other fragrance and it's just like okay so you end up with like all these bottles i don't know maybe you guys can like let me know down below the cheapest way to ship fragrances because i would like to start selling some of the ones that i don't use and that would actually help out my channel quite a bit because then i can make some money off the fragrances that i don't use and use that money to buy more fragrances versus right now i have to spend straight money on them and then on top of that if you're not a top influencer you don't get almost any fragrances sent for free like uh, yeah I get um, oil house kind of fragrances or like non-popular brands sent to me and I love reviewing them they're fantastic 100% but at the same time it's not like a Versace or like a Chanel and those is what people want to see those kind of bring in the views so it's just kind of like I'm trying to make it all work and it just seems like there's just too much congestion you know and then on top of that, I'm not hating on anybody here, you know, more power to you, but you have these random accounts just come out of nowhere, never heard of them, and they spend thousands of dollars on fragrance. And like, what it seems like is you just wanted to buy fragrances and you wanted to just copy the next guy. And then all of a sudden, this guy has like $10,000 worth of fragrances. And like, because I can't afford to spend $10,000, it's like, there's an aspect to his channel that's much better than mine. And it's like, bro, this guy, this guy literally just spent a bunch of money on fragrance and then literally comes on here and like regurgitates the same video that I've heard a million times, repeats the same stuff we've seen online a million times. And it's like, I can't even touch this guy because I can't afford to spend all this money on cologne. All the new releases to the, to the niche fragrances, it's just like, it's so freaking expensive. And like, maybe, like I said, if you guys could help me out with some shipping advice, things like that, if I was able to ship and even make half the money that I spent on cologne back, it would be a lot easier to continue to do it and make top tens, things like that. There's actually a lack of really unique DNAs out there. Once you try a lot of fragrances, it's like very, very, very few fragrances is gonna wow you, it's gonna be unique. 
unique, you are going to uncover some fragrances that are really unique, but guess what? They're in the niche category. So it's like, there's already so few people who buy fragrances and then the amount of people who buy niche fragrances is probably like 5% of people there. The niche fragrances are so, so good, but to spend so much and have so little people watching it, you know, and then on top of that, guess what? If you hype anything, everyone's just going to buy it because everyone has all this money to buy cologne. I don't mind forking out a lot for a good bottle, but these guys are insane, you know? The uh, fragrance were formulations. This thing is just so annoying. You should have to rename the fragrance if you take out a certain amount of ingredients. I shouldn't be able to buy a fragrance and you take out 90% of the ingredients, replace it, and you call it the same fragrance. There's got to be some way around that. There has to be a certain amount of the original ingredients to call it that fragrance because it's like, it just sucks so bad. Like I have a bunch of old fragrances that I want to re-review. They're from 2016 and 2017, but guess what? I'm going to have to put it as an old batch because I don't know the new batch. So then basically like my review is kind of worthless because if you want to check out that fragrance, you want to see how the new batch is, but I have the old batch. Fragrances get reformulated in two or three years. So it's like I buy this fragrance, I don't use it, and now I want to do a review on it, but I can't even do a good review because I don't know what the current formulation is. Just exhausting. You spend all this money and you have this stuff. Oh, what's the old formulation? Go buy another bottle, Jack. I don't know if you guys have been watching my channel, but I haven't done a top 10 fragrance in a while. And it's not because I don't want to. It's because I want to do a freaking good list. I know how like, uh, I don't want to throw people under the bus, but certain people use the same fragrances in their top 10s over and over and over and over. And I just... I want to have a unique list, but again, there's not enough unique fragrances at a unique price point. So I'm literally going to be regurgitating top tens just for views. And I just can't do it. I like to have a unique kind of content. I like to have a unique something to say that I notice about something that other people don't notice. You know, I don't like to see what other people say and then repeat it. I want to try it on my own and see what, what like my personal views are without seeing what everyone else kind of thought, you know, how separated everybody is, you know, like with the price of fragrances and then, you know, people shun people who buy like copies of fragrances, but it's like, I see what you mean because now we have like a millions of copies of one fragrance and it just becomes a little blurred and confused. But at the same time, you know, the copy of the fragrance is $50. The real fragrance is $400. So it's like, it's just hard to, to get all in one camp. And then on top of that, you got lots of cheapy guys who like will never buy a niche fragrance ever again. And it's like, well, what's the point of being into fragrances if you can't try niche because that's actually where it's good. It's actually where fragrances are amazing, you know? So anyways, guys, that's been kind of my little rant. I I love fragrances and I love all the people who write me and talk to me about fragrances and I'm somebody to where if I have something bad to say I'd rather not say it that's why I didn't really want to make this video but I just kind of wanted to update it so we're on the same page I don't want to badmouth anybody I don't want to talk badly on anybody I love fragrances I will continue to love fragrances and I still love talking to everybody this has just been my two cents but anyways guys let me know what you think of this video I do have some fragrances uh, set up to review next I'm going to re-review as well wanted and I'm going to re-review Fierce Supernova. I've been trying both these out but I actually didn't write a full review up for it. Look for those coming up pretty soon but I've been trying them both and I have enough in my head to do another review right now but anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hope we're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.